Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Where is my... Am I actually alive? I don't know why. My computer got updated. And now everything is reset. Yep, everything is reset now. So now I have to do this. Sticky notes. Nope, it's this one. Okay, game audio is default. Sorry, yeah, microphone, music. That means that music was not playing at all. Is cable input. VB audio virtual cable. That means you guys. Yeah, that means there was no audio playing whatsoever. And what was Discord audio? Discord is voice meter. Aux input VB audio. Open up Discord. Just give me one second, everybody. I apologize for the sloppiness so far because of this because of this negligence on my part. Yep, and all every damn time, man. Every damn time it does this. Okay, input device. Output device, voice meter, aux input, VB audio. Oh my goodness! It did it did that thing again. Hold on.
it does this thing where like the um the audio gets screwed up and i don't know like why it does it Oh my goodness. How's everybody doing today? It's been a, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It hasn't been like that long. I just like the weekend off. I don't really think I'm gonna stream on the weekend. I'm probably just gonna catch up on like VODs and stuff like that. Okay. I'm really hoping the open beta is still running. Because it said the open beta launches on the 10th. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh Okay, doing a survey. I like both PvP and PvE. Quite a bit. <laughs> nope, never participated. I do play video games for quite a bit of time. Uh... Okay, we are launching into the game now. Okay. I don't hear anything. Oh, now I hear something. Okay, window capture works. Okay. Damn, game capture doesn't work? Guys, make the game capture work. All right, this is a work in progress. Settings, English. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep everything pretty low. Oh my yeah. god. No, we'll keep this low. I don't have the system to run it on epic settings. V-Sync disable, rendering scale. Uh, direct X. Let's cap it at 60. Okay. That's it? They literally just have graphic settings. That's literally it. Okay. Language. Resolution. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. I don't know why it always does this. It says borderless, but then it doesn't do that. The view distance will keep high. shift tab out of this thing
Already losing like a ton of frames to this. Honestly, don't know what happened there, but let's go ahead and blow it. I don't want to fuck with this request authorization. Okay. We'll see what happens here, folks. Yeah, I will never get like this mic. I want the mic that comes from the back here. So the, le the leftmost image. Yeah, that's good enough. Open mic. No, push the dock. G. The G key. From next studios. Oh, look at that. Automatically. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, if you're still watching this broadcast, we've lost all contact with our London of millions as world governments fail to shift. Shinar Industries is being blamed by many for what experts are calling the collapse. Creatures known as nanos are swarming the streets as reports of a deadly nano surge that has begun to spread uncontrollably throughout the region and often called a miracle resource. I think it's safe to say that Nerva Shinar has begun a global evacuation to the Ark 1, their private station orbiting the planet. On a Thirty-foot wall around Shinar's Washington State. Holy shit! Multiple people are talking right now. A five-hundred square mile exclusion zone. Meanwhile, around many have Shinar reported unsettling okay. silence as entire districts the government stand shutting down and communication lines collapsing. This may be the end of civilization as we know it. This will be our last broadcast. Goodbye. Good luck, and God help us all. Okay. Some strange looking zombie s creatures. Alright. Somebody dug too deep, essentially, and now we're here. Alright. Hey, 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 hey. That's right, baby. This is two years later. Even on the lower side, it doesn't look too bad. So this is an open beta. I suggest if you want to play this game, go ahead and check it out on Steam. It's called Synced. All right, Dead Cut. You've entered the Meridian. Approaching the drop zone now. Get ready for deployment. There's no time to waste. Keep it a tight schedule. I can dig it. So Brass Tax, it's your first run with us and we're keeping it simple. This region's getting overrun with surge. That spells trouble for all of us. Okay, so that's the main enemies. Seems simple enough. Is this a hero simple shooter? One. In the Meridian, nothing's as it seems. First things first, I need to find a prime nano to sink. Okay. Okay, you gotta hold shift. Can't climb over this thing? Yeah, you can. So this is a third person. Okay, can't cannot climb over that. Back nano, low car. It's not bad. Ooh. Can already see some jittering. Yeah, see that? If you go too fast. Okay, you gotta hold E. Easy. A new toy. Nice. Doors jammed. Let me get that for you. 
Okay. So let's see. Okay, three. One and three. That's strange. Okay. See to crouch. All right, first uh, boss, quote unquote, character. Shoot the heavy playing on the uh, nano. Prime nano does little damage. Okay, target the glowing weak points to deal maximum damage. Okay. A for openings. That's a weak point. So they, they clearly nerfed this boss enough to make it very easy, so you get the idea. Time to sink this beast. Winner take all. Okay. Ace, my man. Welcome back. Let's give that new body a test drive, eh, buddy? Hit it. Sock him in the eye. Oh. A beautiful play. Okay. Come on home, Ace. Huh. So X to call back. This is interesting. Yeah, clearly you see this jittering. Radio. Unstable surge energy. Volatile as hell. I don't allow it inside Haven. But out there, well, let's just say that if you offer Radia to the Meridian, the Meridian will give you something in return. This is heavy duty. Am I missing something here? Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. The on screen pro. So F to melee. Okay, it's not too bad. Call back. This is interesting. You see that? We call it an exchange. A Shinar fabricator twisted by the Meridian. Feed it Radia, it'll grant you special abilities for a time. Only catch is you never know what you're gonna get. Top shelf gear. My lucky day. Watch yourself. Trouble at the gate. Don't you worry. Me and Ace, ain't no flies on us. So 
Check it out. Okay, this is interesting. See that force field? Shinar hoped it would keep us mere mortals out of the Meridian because there's Nova to be had. And see, you're getting closer to the heart of the sector. Keep an eye on your radar, it'll help you identify surge zones. Kinetic raid. Okay, we'll do that. Ooh, pig nose. Very nice shotgun. There it is, the heart of this surge zone. Hard to miss. Take it out, the nearby surge will clear up. Okay, surge storms are spreading through the dead sectors. Your radar will show the closest one to your position. As you approach a storm, it will form into an aggressive pack of nanos, led by one or more locust nanos. Once you eliminate the locust nanos, all remaining nanos will be weakened and the surge storm will clear. Remnants of the Shinar space program? Ooh. Harvester drone. Automated. They make scheduled passes through the meridian to pull Nerva out of the surge. Ghost? Something like that. Looks like the corruption laid this one to rest. The key to our collective survival. A single unit can power Haven for a whole day. And for runners like you, it's worth its weight in gold. Ooh. Quite a vortex. All right. It looks way tougher than the last one. Having second thoughts? Never had a second thought in my life. Okay, so we're talking about like nanotechnology and shit like that. Okay. 
That just sounds like it's like the best idea. Fuck it. Boost them. Keep boosting them. Okay. Nanos, clear the surge, and I'll bring you back to Haven. <laughs> that was hilarious that was actually so do all these characters have like essentially like a summon they can use because that seems like super op or is it just like he, he, they just overpowered you for like that i feel like they all have like some sort of summon then right is that a core mechanic then where they all have, based on that, like that nanotech, each each of the heroes has like a certain ability. Oh, I like how they say, avoid using your real name. Let me do this. I'm going to do. Oh, my goodness. Can I do this? I don't even know if I could stream this. Well, there's people streaming this right now, I think. Also, they would say it too if you if you couldn't if you can't stream it or not. Welcome back, Hotshot. When you're ready for next steps, come find me at the situation table. I'll be waiting. Okay. So, so that's my team. Okay. Okay, so you have to alt tab out of it. Okay. We just double check, make sure. Yeah, there should be like people playing this game. Yeah, like the top person playing it, it has what over two thousand viewers. God damn, that person's like destroying this category. It's mostly a lot of uh, Russian stream. The top person thinks a Russian streamer. Oh, okay. A little jitteriness, they gotta clean that up a little bit, but it's an open beta. You keep a cool head under pressure. I respect that. Spend more than my fair share of time under the gun. Play it coy all you want, but here's what I know. You cross the wasteland to reach Haven's gates. You sink like it's second nature. You cleared that surge zone and you barely got a scratch to show for it. Now you're a gambling man, so you might see all that and call it luck. Me, I say it's fate. Luck, fate, just two sides of the coin. Either way, seems I always end up just where I'm meant to be. Funny how that works. 
All the dusty little corners in this world and you find your way to this one. Spend enough time on your own, you learn how to listen for your call. Well, you're not alone anymore, runner. Settle in. Welcome to Haven. You see that like the like above in one in the one of the earlier scenes? First things first. Let's get you acquainted with your armband. It's a runner's best friend. Check it out now. I'll walk you through this. Okay. You can switch your runner. Switch your companion. Okay, so every character, so you can choose your companions. Okay. You have four classes. Okay, switch your weapon. Right for you. Okay. Okay, so these are your runners. Dead cut. A card shark and a hustler. Dead cut made a career out of gambling and guns. The collapse actually saved his life, sweeping away his debts and landing him on his feet. With his trusty companion Nano Ace, Dead Cut set out for the Meridian to find his fortune in himself. Okay, fire grenade, split and bounce, producing elastic burn area. Perk is dragon's breath. The last bullet in your magazine deals fire affliction. Hot wheel went on fire. Movement speed is increased, and fire affliction duration is shortened. Okay, so you got five so far. Okay, let's see, glory. The days that followed the collapse brought unspeakable hardship and grief, but they also stirred in glory, glory Zhao, a noble vision. With her mother's blessing, she set out from her small village in China to find, out, find the source of this ceaseless suffering to end it once and for all. Armband smoke bomb, a bomb that always poisoning gas and blinds enemy runners. Oh, is this like fucking that other game too? I forget this, that first person one. So, highlight rival runners through sniper rifle scopes and see through smoke. What? <laughs> I can already tell it's gonna be overpowered as fuck. Increase nano weak point damage, shoot shooting runners will tag them. Okay. Dr. Zat, Dr. Stone. Once a rural doctor in an underfunded district in the north of England, Dr. Montgomery Stone didn't come to the Meridian for power, wealth, or for revenge. He came looking for a cure. If he didn't, if he can't find, if he can find, he can save the future, even if he couldn't save the past. Okay. Yep. I'm definitely getting some uh, frames missed doing rendering lags. Okay. You guys can barely see, but it's just like open beta. Armband, healers or healer automatically revive teammates inside a healing radius. All right, this is this is a PvP PVE game. Okay, combat medic using med kits and revive teammates faster, recover more health when using med kits and reviving teammates. Okay, let's see. Ragna, it's not. It's currently locked. Okay, in her dreams, Carolina Ragna's back in, in Columbia, hearing her daughter screams as those Shinar goons ripped her away. Ragnar might have succumbed to the nano sickness that plagues her if it weren't for her last ir irrepressible piece of humanity, a burning need for vengeance. Nearby teammates can detect enemies, leech health from stunned nanos. That's her armband ability. Perk, death to fire. Recover health when killing prime nanos or rival runners. Six sense, detect rival runners at close range. Unlocked with daily rewards, okay? Park, back home in South Korea. Hajun Park was as famous for his business empire as for his big game hunting. Yet despite losing everything in the collapse, Park refused to flee to the Ark One. Instead, he headed across the Pacific to Snake Vet River Valley, intent on rebuilding a business empire brick by brick. Chain Bomb. The bomb that chain strikes between multiple enemies. Bloody Bullets. Generate ammo from weak point chain bomb kills. Oh, wow. Okay, steady ammo. Steady hand gradually reduces recoil during a continuous LMG fire. Okay. Okay. So now. Crusher. Large but agile. The Crusher excels in close quarters combat. Nano arm. Melee attack speed. Deployment. Guards. The target position, lock on, chase the target and attacks at close range. This guy's he's so useful then in PvE then, because he's a tank. The suppressor. 
Suppressors earned with a hand cannon for long range attacks. Timing control, nano arm, aim down sights faster and reduce crosshair spread while moving. Deployment, patrol the target area, lock on, attack targets with long range shock blast projectiles. Okay. Guardian. The, the Guardian can transform itself into a shield to protect runners. Nano arm forms a shield around the runner while aiming. Form a one-sided shield. One-sided shield at the target position. Performs a shield attack. Okay. Seer. Seer's power was to detect and track enemies. Detect nearby rival on your radar. Highlight nano weak points and makes them more vulnerable. Creates a pack nano decoy where, where deployed. The periodically releases a scan. Highlight nano weak points and boosts weak point damage. Fires a powerful laser beam at its target. Okay. I will stick with good old Crusher. Change your loadout here. The Enforcer. Pig Nose. But I don't have a lot of guns at the moment. The Future. What is... Oh shit, change. What is this? The Future... Is this a sniper rifle? No. Pig nose is a shotgun, the enforcer. So the future is an assault rifle, okay. So you need to have a sidearm, the bushwhacker. So we'll do an assault rifle. All right, runner. Okay. Now you're all set up. Let's talk ops. Your typical runs break down into two types. Dead sector runs pit you up against the nano hordes in pursuit of Haven's interest in the Meridian. Nerva runs, on the other hand, put you head to head with other runners. Either way, it's gonna be tough, but you won't be alone. You'll have other runners in your team and you'll need to work together if you wanna okay. have any chance of success. Wow, okay. Okay, so is there a matchmaking? So we'll do the... So North America, okay. Complete surge sweep. Let's go. Dead sectors, regions crawling with nanos and totally infected by the surge. When a new tyrant moves in, they whip up surge storms that put Haven at risk. So someone needs to go in there and kill the tyrant. That sound like you? Good. Now, surge storms are no joke. And if you want to survive in one, you've got to work fast. Your surge meter will warn you when the concentration gets too high. When it hits 100, you'll be putting your health at risk. So if you want to make it back alive, don't let that happen. For your first run, DPS we'll be check. dropping you in an area riddled with surge formations. They might look like solid rock, but these are actually complex structures made from surge itself. Pop down your scarab so we can triangulate the tyrant, tyrant, then do whatever it takes to destroy the formation. Oh, but shit. Ready. The formation will generate every nano it can to stop you. Nothing out there goes down without a fight. The one piece of good news is that the heavy surge activity means lots of radio for the exchanges. They can be a little finicky, but you should be able to get geared up enough to have a fighting chance against the tyrant. And if you make it out, you can keep any nerva you find. All right, well, that's the score. Simple, really. Clean up the surge, find the tyrant, kill it. Think you can handle that? Good. The dead sectors. Regions totally infested with surge activity and crawling with nanos. And at the heart of every one, a powerful nano and the surge they spread are a threat to Haven. You go in, be back the surge, and right on. 
Runner, the Meridian awaits. A strange countdown. What's up, fellas? Okay, so you are. So there's. So it's not an open world MMO. It's zone. You have to queue up for a zone. You go to the zone, but you're match made with other people. Okay. Eliminate the tyrant. Uh, now to continue the surge, collect ready to buy mods, complete objectives to reach the tyrant. All right. Okay. All right, we're loading into the dead sector, which is the PVE zone. So. Do not have... For an exchange. You see safe houses like this all over the Meridian, each one the site of somebody's last stand. But the things they left behind can help you stay standing where they fell. Don't let them go to waste. Choose wisely, runner. A synergistic assortment of mods is your ticket to victory. So what is... So let's push... Okay, nanos make sure they're doing knockback cooldown. So I do not have my guy. So what is push to talk? Okay. Map. Skill roll jump. V is push to talk. So V is push to talk. Okay. Is V is V work?
Okay, there you go. You have to sink one of these guys. Okay, I'm gonna save Ace because right now we're not having like a lot of like problems in terms of bringing them in. Got a buy station. Okay, do that. There's a surge formation nearby. Check your radar and follow the signal. Yep, I see it outside. All right, boys. All right, boys, let's get it done. Oh yeah, my guys are like way behind me. Let's see, Nanos make sure during knockback cooldown, prime stunner. Oh, uh, we'll do that. That stun man. I don't really, I haven't seen it. He's been getting damaged like a ton. Okay, so when you're near that, you have to hold E. Perfect. 
The tracking protocol is going to take some time. Stay sharp, runner. Every nano in the region is going to be coming for you now. Hold them off, and whatever you do, don't leave the area. Oh, shit. All right, you got to, like, pay attention to the ground. I was there. I was not. There was a law. Fold him yet. Perfect. I've got a lead on the tyrant's location. I'm gonna move you closer. Stand by. Back to the deck. Reloading. Okay, me, Legion Nemo, teammates revived, mod reward, increase your runners. Okay. That was interesting, to say the least. Okay, it's the same team, I think. Somebody's got to win. I say it's us. The extracted data will help narrow down the location of the tyrant, but I need more to go on. Let's get you closer, then you can track down another formation. Okay. So I do not have a second primary gun. That's an ammunition crate. So this doesn't work yet? Okay. Just my luck. I got to be able to change the
bring it home, mate. There we go. So we have a medium surge. Ugh, maybe I should switch over to the SMG. Oh no, we're doing pretty good da damage with this. There's a buy station. Okay. Damn, there's like a ton of these buy stations. Bloody brilliant. Your winner pack will help you keep track of what mods you have and which ones are currently equipped. It's all about working with what you've got to find the loadout that works for you and your nano. Okay. Simple enough. I've got a read on the formation. Check your radar. It'll lead you right to it. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh my god. 
God. Nice. I'll take that stun. Hidden treasures. They gotta work on the crosshairs. The crosshairs aren't that great. Let's go, baby. Hey, there's the high roller. Bring it home, mate. Oh, we are hard difficulty now. Reloading. Got 
Let's go, baby. Back to the deck. Perfect. The tracking protocol is gonna take some time. Stay sharp, runner. Every nano in the region is gonna be coming for you now. Open off and whatever you do, don't Holy do Holy shit! They got me on the ropes. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. I got fucking destroyed, dude. I'm down. I need a friend. Oh, there's like no uh, self revive. Shit. That was rough. That was rough. That was fun, though. That was fun. There needs to be. Um, it's strange because it's it's the view distance that's the problem. It's like there needs to be like some like pronounced ground indic much more pronounced ground indicator. I know it like there's a light at the bottom. So skins, this is the daily reward, and then day two is Back is one piece. Not too shabby, runner. Come see me when you get a chance. We have things to discuss. Okay. Assault rifle mod. Switch to burst mode and deal fire affliction. Okay, so you have mods for PvE and PvP. So maybe I should do this the future. Okay. I actually like Crusher. He is very he's just he, it's so easy for him to maintain aggro. The man with a wicked pack of cards. These runs get your heart rate up, eh? Good news, you've got some tech that can really help you out. Okay. The Morpheus chip may have brought about the apocalypse, but it's still a marvel of cybernetic power. And using those chips you found out there, you can make yours even more powerful. Here, let's see. You see right there? With. The top right hand corner, or right there? Look at that. Return on investment, runner mods. Level okay, PV mode mods can be powered up by sacrificing a mod with a higher power level. Okay, it's all pretty common stuff. Create unique, so there are no upgrades available. That makes sense. That's actually smart. I'm actually impressed by this. Wow, so far outside of like the um, graphical cues and some small nitpicks here on like really not not even the gameplay it's actually like pretty solid like it's pretty decent like the guns feel good you know i will say there's a little bit of sameness with the guns like the lmg and that uh ar like i didn't really like feel that much of a difference outside the reload times but that's something that you can work on clearly more guns Ooh, that's actually super useful.
Oh, wow, okay. So, infusion. So, this is the cost. Okay, so each mod, and so Nerva, you need to get Nerva to install these mods. So that's the power. So 175. Yep, okay. Okay, and then you can switch. Ah, look at this. Very cool. Okay, so you gotta go out there. You'll be feeling a difference for sure. The Meridian's a straight treasure trove for gearheads looking to upgrade their Morpheus chips. So poke around, keep your eyes peeled, and you'll get a little stronger every day. And of course, Haven provides for our runners. Have a look around, check out the services my people are offering. I just know you'll find something you like. I feel like they're trying to do the uh, the division here a little bit too. The division, division two improved a lot about what the uh, made the division one good, but the problem was there's a lot of, I mean, event calendar. Okay, that's the event calendar. Dead sector one quick match. Dead cut. Feeling lucky. DC, been working on that coin trick you showed me, dude. What's up, dude? Glad we can finally have a little What's combat up, dude? with you and me. Name's Eli, and I'm in charge of firepower here in Haven. Looking for guns or gun-related accessories? You just hit me up. So, what can I do for you right now? Choose your weapon. More guns. Give me more guns. Okay, use your weapons and matches to improve proficiency and unlock new attachments. Okay, so this is clearly a free-to-play model game. Okay, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad. Low bar to entry. It's got to download the game and grind through it. Okay, but let's see how grindy the game is. Right? Customize your weapons with unique attachments and weapon skins that fit your style. The Noisy Neighbor. Oh, 12. Okay, can't do anything with that now. Primary weapon. This is what you drop in with the loadout. Oh, look at this. Nice. P90. Level 4, level 40. Okay. Very nice. I'll take the red dot size. Okay. Don't have anything here. Stock. Very cool. Very simple. Very easy to look at. Hope they add more things. And actually previews what it looks like. Okay. Very Call of Duty-esque.
pig nose. The Harlequin, nice. Act Master Katana, fancy looking katana. Snake River Slammer, nice. They're just like crazy. Nothing too crazy in the customization, they're just new skins. too hard okay hey there rambler let's get rambling hmm okay so we have to no oh, fuck it all right rookie I know you're excited, but Here's before you're let loose on, on the Meridian, Shinar sends out squads of unmanned harvester drones you know, to scour the Meridian for the lights on. The people of Haven have found a way to skim a little off the top. Okay. And it seems like All Shinar's has to do is intercept those harvesters to not be okay. squad with the most nerve out of those victorious. harvesters. Uh, they need to fix that. <laughs> the goal is to loot as much of It's completely unsynced. And hustle to the many it's over. The audio is overlapping one another. Your rivals are doing the very same. In Haven, sure, everybody's friendly. But it's out there, not. all bets hey, are off. You can do this once you're done and there. steal your energy. You'll be taken out too many times. You'll be eyes up for all the other nasties, too. They'll the reward you with an extra nerve as you can take them down. into paste in the process. Got it? Now suit up and get your gear in order. The Meridian awaits, runner. Okay. Okay, here we go. Skip. Nerva Run, the bread and butter of any enterprising runner. Shinar's automated harvesters scour the meridian and pull Nerva out of the surge to power their flying resort in the sky. I built Haven with my own two hands. Yeah, hey, you gotta talk to her to do this. No, we'll do another dead you sector. Ready, runner. You're going in. Okay, so that's the timer up there is for looking for a match. Okay, and then 20 seconds till match starts. She must be insane in fucking PvP. You can highlight other runners like that? Oh my god, look at this fucking a player level 20 and 19. When knocked down, killing a nano with your sidearm. Oh, you can actually. I didn't know that. I wish it actually told me that. I would have. New perk, easy dodge. This oh, is everywhere. Oh, your radar can point you towards the most corrupted regions. Follow its readings to find the hot zones and take down the locust nano to clear the area. Rinse and repeat.
Okay. First things first. are creeping up here. That means the nanos are going to be tougher. Stay on your guard. Levels in this vicinity are returning to acceptable levels. Nice work, runner. Now keep moving. No rest for the weary and all that. Reload. You've got enough radio for a new mod, so keep an eye out for an exchange. Once I get one of those guys. So they have to change that. So it's first come, first serve so you, for you to sink. Okay, they gotta work on that too. Welcome back, Crusher. Hey, so buddy. Where you been? Back to the deck. So they've been chilling. So work fast. Okay, so that only works on a prime nano. Another one. There's a surge formation nearby. Check your radar and follow the signal. Woo! Betting fire now, boys. Get rid of the ordinary ones. There it is. That formation is generated by the tyrant's influence, and that means we can extract data about the big boy's location. Go ahead and connect with it. My scale will do the rest.
take care of Ace here first. for you. Stand by, we'll get you over there now. Perfect. That was easy enough with these guys. God damn. Increase your runner's attack power. That's what I got. Eliminate nano contain surge. Collect radio to buy mods. Very cool. Yeah, pretty pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Somebody's got to win. I say it's us. The extracted data will help narrow down the location of the tyrant, but I need more to go on. Let's get you closer. Then you can track down another formation. God damn, I got a ton of health. useless a nano on your arm offers unique abilities think tactically it might save your skin hey so buddy where you been back to the deck okay so that's just for his health then okay all right now i get it Thank you. These look at these motherfuckers, man. They are just going buck wild here.
Okay. Yeah, he needs a uh, he needs a couple more uh, mods. Oh, are they got a DC or something? Part of the zone. They're rolling squad deep. You know what? Gotta reload. Detected nearby. Check your radar and get on it. This other guy's been just been going rogue, man. Unless uh, he's just been chilling there. I don't think he's been moving. No, he's moving. Surge formation there. You give me the okay and I'll start the scan. Get rid of all these fucking ads here. Ooh. Let's go, Ace. to the deck reloading that's all the data i need i've got a position reloading. on the tyrant on, hope you're ready runner oh yeah i definitely need ammo 
I definitely need like a second gun too. Let's go. So it goes by who did the best. Okay. Because I don't think it's a random roll. Let's go, boys. Nothing I love more than taking down a tyrant Russia. Okay, runner. Brass tax. This tyrant is the source of all the surge in the region. You take it down, and the dead sector is ours again. No pressure. That's what I'm talking about. What a find. What a find. That thing came straight at me like a freight train. Missed me by a hair and crashed through one of the search formations. Shook the whole damn place down to the foundation. I was able to slip out while it was dazed. I'm stealing off this door. It's the last one. Holy shit, this is the boss area. So it's just like that, huh? Tyrant class rusher. Keep their fucking. Oh, there we go. Dude, I that was fucking crazy, dude. So we got it done. So we got that done. That was actually pretty fun, man. Yeah, that was kind of crazy though. I was like, whoa, what is that? The uh the cues for the attacks weren't like clear. So once I saw like where it was coming, I don't know. Maybe they need to like zoom back a little bit in terms of they, I think they need an FOV slider. Okay. Okay, I don't have enough to uh, sector one chest to loot that. Okay, we're back here now. Hello, 
Luana, I understand you might have some free time. Could I trouble you to pay me a visit? I have a favor to ask of you. Not bad for a first Nerva run. I'll be watching your career with great interest. If it isn't the runner of the hour, name's Mel, Mel Cregan. I'm what you might call the backbone of Haven's economy. Have a gander at my wares if you like. Oh, and all sales are final. Fair enough. So. Uh, okay, it's the cash shop. Okay. Melee bundles, weapon bundles, statement piece, swashbuckler. Pleasure doing business. You can learn a lot about somebody from their first nerve. So you've acquainted yourself with the Nerva run. Dangerous work, that. It's good to properly meet you, runner. My name is Lea Kraus, and I am in charge of data analysis here in Haven. I will collate any data you find out in the field and ensure it's accessible through Haven's Mimir Network Hub. This knowledge is essential to our stability as a community. The world may have ended, but there's no excuse for slipping into a new dark age. I could use your help. Let's see, vendor jobs, completing jobs, okay. So these are essentially bounties, like in Destiny 2. Okay. Handy in the pinch. Companion poacher, okay. Ah, okay. Incidentally, I repaired this old VR unit and converted it into a training system for runners. If you ever need to hone your skills, try it out. That is like pretty. It's actually pretty intuitive. You really punched above your weight with that rusher. Literally, that thing weighs a ton. Pick your poison. Be easy. What kind of trouble you looking for today? Ooh, cast the runner skill ten times. Getting things done, I see. Oh, okay. So these are jobs. These are more bounties. Make it five times. So you just get these by playing the game, okay. Uh, pick up 3,000 Nerva, okay. So these are da these are your dailies, okay. Your dailies and these are your weeklies, okay. In progress. Affliction. Okay. Okay. Now I'll suffer additional damage. I mean. You have five sectors right now. Catch you on the flip side. Okay. What's this? Killing nanos 
regenerates ammo. That was actually very useful. something else to okay this is 255 okay so PV port what is this so what I have here uh, that's actually very useful no Motherfucker. Hey, Digital Frost, I appreciate you uh, following. Thank you. Dude, that like, I was like, holy shit, what was that? <laughs> I was not prepared for that. But thanks, Digital Frost. Let's see. So we'll power this up. What's the... We'll give it the highest one. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, you were in that last run. Okay, I appreciate the help then. So far, so far, this game is looking good in the uh, in the open beta. I love, it, se it seems pretty fun. We'll see if it has any like actual lasting power though. That's the only thing, because I there's gonna be another game that I know will have lasting power. That I'm gonna play after this, after I take like a quick break. So how uh, have you been liking this game so far? Because it looks like uh, you were playing for been playing for a while, considering your levels. You're you're either like level level nineteen or level twenty character. Ah, ping issues. Okay, makes sense. Open beta. I think they'll get it done. I'm not familiar with the studio though that's done this, so we'll see what happens. Twenty one after that run. I got you. So you were the level twenty character during that run. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'll, I'll probably play this game, like, on and off. And, like, and follow it. Because it seems, like, pretty fun. I like the concept, too. Like, you can summon, like, these characters here. Like a necromancer. Like, wow. Like, so you summon, like, um... Minions to help you out. Oh, it's another Tencent company. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, okay. That explains, like, the... Alright, we'll see how the, uh... <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. Tencent's fucking powerful, dude. They're just, it's all over the place. You, you can't avoid, like, the free-to-play model. So we'll see what happens. But so far, I like the, uh, so far the PvE is, like, pretty fun. I don't think it's gonna outpace something like Destiny, because Destiny's been around for so long. We'll see. I gotta get back to playing, like, Overwatch. I just, I can't get behind, like, playing Overwatch, only because, like, they're gatekeeping all the characters behind paywalls. And, like, you have to get the battle pass. You can't earn like currency like another form of currency to eventually unlock those characters plus if the game is based on like character switching during certain moments in the game then you're gatekeeping the characters that's true yeah i mean it is what it is i don't know a lot of people were warning warning a lot of people about that let's see oh what is all these okay so dodge Weak point kill. That's actually pretty good. So what's this? Oh, that's actually very nice. And cause stun. How much health though? It doesn't tell you how much health. May regenerate some of mine. That's true. I don't think anybody disagrees with that sentiment, digital. 
the thing is it's there's no longer like a barrier to entry for anybody else so anybody can play and it's still it's still like pretty popular with people too overall the game the game is fun especially like the 5v5 format it makes the games like really quick and hectic which i think people like this is these free-to-play models are just like getting kind of like out of hand i just don't like the the hero the gatekeeping with the heroes like locked behind the battle pass i didn't buy i would have gotten the newest not the not the tank hero but the newest healer because i already bought the first overwatch when it first came out or a couple of months after it first came out on xbox but i linked the wrong email so i have to wait a whole year but i don't think i'm gonna be able to unlock that hero so it's it is what it is but don't like gatekeep all the heroes some of yours uh i might do that just for extra tankiness Microsoft is buying everything. I don't think they're gonna complete the uh, active. Well, no, they haven't been stopped yet. It's a momentary pause on that Activision Blizzard uh, acquisition, so we'll see what happens there. I don't even know why I'm like. Uh, let's see, what's this? Do this. Okay. And then is you. Oh, that's actually good. Let's see what else is there? Primary weapon there. At five seconds, I don't know over there. That's actually pretty good. Uh, these two not so much. After using your runner skill, that's actually pretty decent. This is a pretty long cooldown now, so I'll just take this. Yeah, which is kind of crazy to me. Like it, it, it's all these like monopolies that are popping up too, and that wasn't always the case. You have monopolies in like all forms of media, especially it's really prevalent in like digital media, like in video games. And like, not even like in video games, like in tech companies. I don't know how Facebook was allowed to acquire Instagram. What else? There was, there was a couple other, I keep, that was like the big one I remember. Facebook should never have acquired Instagram. Well, there's another thing too, like most of these, uh, most of these tech companies, like it's usually like, especially like with Elon Musk, he ne I don't know how like one guy can own like a, a social media platform that the vast majority of people in like North America and Europe use. Just remember, Twitter's like the 14th largest social media platform in the world compared to other social media companies. But it's crazy to me that one person can own like the 14th largest social media company like in the world. It's a private company, yeah, but like so many people use it. Facebook never should have bought Instagram. Microsoft should not have bought all the studios that it's bought leading up to the Activision Blizzard acquisition, which will go through, by the way, folks. That's going to happen. And then the Murdochs should never have bought all these smaller local stations around the country that basically feed into, like, Fox News. The old rule was, like, no one person or one company could purchase, like, seven stations within a certain geographic location but I don't know like what happened to that. Like I would have to look into that, but like, that's kind of crazy. You have all these like mini monopolies popping up everywhere and you're seeing like the effects of it too. And like, it's just those of us who like are kind of like grew up on the internet, like me and like all the zoomers out there, like we kind of like recognize that fact and we're, we talk about it, but like, it's like everyday folks like just don't care about it. You know, like my parents don't care about it like you know my like extended family members because they're, they're not like that like they, they use the they use social media but like they're not like ingrained in it as like some other people are yeah well there was an interesting um i don't know if anybody knows about this it's the guys who used to work for the obama administration it's a uh, one day after obama's second term ended they um they formed like uh they formed a, a youtube channel called the uh, creator youtube channel called pod save america one of the guys he um he was interviewing this doctor 
I don't know if he was a doctor of sociology or anything like that. He was talking about like the invention of social media and how it became, how it started from what it was to what it is now. And, he, and the one thing that he talked about that really like stood out for me and that really made me think critically about it. Remember, maybe I'm, I'm dating myself when I say this. I remember when social media companies like Facebook and even like MySpace and some other smaller ones, they weren't called social media companies. Do you guys remember what they were called? They were called social networks because that was the primary purpose. It was for you to essentially like network with other people to learn new skills, to learn new whatever, and really for like employment purposes too, like LinkedIn is. Like if you guys know what LinkedIn is, it's for like looking for jobs and to network with other people within like your job field, or if you're gonna leave a certain field to network people with the field that you're gonna be entering into. Cause social media companies will call social networks and it's like everything that you imply with the word like network. But now, I don't know when that point was when we started calling it or like these companies are calling it social media companies. It's like media. It's like the media you watch like on TV or on Netflix, on these different streaming services. It's like, literally, look at what I'm doing right now. Like, I'm on a social media platform that is Twitch, that's broadcasting content for you. Like, like I've always said this, like Twitch is like the next evolution of like what television is. You can go, like Twitch is literally your TV, right on your screen. You go to Twitch, all right, Asmongold is there. Oh, he's playing WoW again. I'm not, I don't wanna watch Asmongold go on. Click, go to your next channel. You see me. It's like, oh, he's playing this uh, sync closed beta. Let me go ahead and check what Heal's doing here on his channel. Oh, okay, he's gonna play another game soon. Let me go to, I don't know, let me see what Hassan's doing on his channel, you know? Like it's truly like media media now and you're really not networking or connecting with other people now on these social media platforms you're just producing content so people can absorb that content and in reality you can comment like in youtube and you can comment like digital is doing right now in chat but you're not really networking with other people it's just you're just consuming content and there's no like actual like dialogue that's 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 um happening between like any individuals between the person who's producing the content right because it's it's in my best interest right let me turn this light on real quick it's getting like dark out now it's it's in my best interest to produce the type of content that brings you the viewers in just like in a tv show or in a movie right like that's the reason why like marvel you know you talk everyone knows about the marvel formula right like you know you can you, you can kind of figure out like how a movie marvel movie is going to go as the beats hit but they're wildly successful and they make a, a ton of money off of that stuff so you know we on these platforms as streamers or as content creators or like video producers on youtube produce content to game the algorithm so we can get the most amount of views and most amount of watch hours too there's no actual networking involved there might be networking behind the scenes with the <coughs> with the other content creators but we're not like networking with the with the people watching right we're just producing something so we can like bring you guys in so you can sub so you can donate etc 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 so it was interesting it, it was and he made another point too that was the first point he made the other point he made was i forgot the guy's name's dr something go ahead and check out pod save america I, I enjoy that podcast those guys are like insiders so they have a very unique perspective on like american like politics because they were on the inside um another point that, that the other point that doctor made was he really doesn't think and i didn't, didn't think of didn't think about this or like when people told me this before i kind of laughed it off but I, it's coming more and more true i don't think we're really intended to be disconnected to be honest with you i really don't think that we were like ever like disconnected before and i don't think we were ever meant to be it's like it's kind of crazy how like i can talk to somebody in like china for example who might be up late or on whatever time time it is in china to like where I am on like the East Coast here in America. It's kind of crazy to me. And he argues that, that maybe we were never intended to be like disconnected before too. Cause unironically, something that David Bowie said, like we're, we're so like, in, we're, we've never been like more interconnected than we ever have been, but we've also been more segregated before. And we've never been even more segregated. So we're, we, we can, we're allowed to be more interconnected, but we're, more segregated as well because we can we can always go into like our comfort zone in a certain like area of the internet or deal with like like literally like on twitter you can curate your twitter feed to like i i, I do it all the time i don't hear like some dumb shit on my twitter feed so i just like curate like a bunch of shit on twitter so 
That's interesting. Yeah, we'll see what happens with the with YouTube. I, mean, I have a YouTube channel, but I usually just re-upload my streams on onto YouTube. I'll see what happens with that too. Only thing is, it's like I don't want to click like search for like a uh, like a YouTube stream. And all the streamers that stream on YouTube are usually like the bigger streamers. Doctors, Doctor Disrespect, Tim the Tap Man, Ludwig. These guys got custom contracts because they they had followings on tw on Twitch, and then they just they're making like a fuck ton of money, you know. So we'll see what happens. I want to see what, what uh, YouTube does in the next year. Uh, let's see. Digital Frost. Disagree with that night. Never tons of people view your chat. It's not about just chatting the stream, but you can make great contact chatting. Well, hell, I might enjoy with a gaming company chatting with one of their s content managers in, in a streamer's chat a few years ago. Yeah, good for you, man. May, you've been in, you've, you've probably been in the game longer than I have. I have I've barely been streaming at all. So... You bet you've been in the game longer than I have then so too so I mean it is what it is at this point I don't even know what the hell I was uh, doing here I'm gonna go to gunsmith first time facing down other runners it's a rush right hmm. Whatever you I need. think I think the uh, new content unlocked okay okay Oh, these are new guns. I think like the uh, the biggest thing is whenever I've watched any streamers on uh, on YouTube, it's just like the interface. Like on YouTube, it's more suited for like um, like video content, and I just think like the way Twitch is like set up. I think it's just like. Um, it's more intuitive for like streamers, but Twitch has been doing it for longer. So like I said, like I think YouTube is like getting there, but we'll see what um, but we'll see what happens like moving forward. Too, I think one of like the biggest critiques I've streamed on YouTube before too. I just don't like the fact that like it's it's such a silly thing, but like when you stream on YouTube, so there's a, like there's a page that you have to go to. For anyone who doesn't know, there's a page you go to to set up your stream, put in your information on YouTube, right? You click go live, then in OBS, you click start streaming. I don't like that. I don't like that extra step. That seems so silly to me. I should be able to connect, right? My stream key or connect directly with like YouTube, click start streaming and then boom, I'm, I, uh, I'm immediately streaming. However, I will say this though, that same page where you have to click go live on YouTube the information on there is much better than on uh, Twitch is like mod view so I can see everything that's going on it has more like it gives me that's because of the YouTube's algorithm it tells me like hey you're running a foul of like copyright with this song or something like that I like that information I like it in real time I also someone I'm not I don't have the skill to do it but if someone else can create some sort of plugin where everything that's on that YouTube page when you start streaming is available right here on um, my OBS screen here. I have two screens. I two screened this. I kind of feel like now I want to three screen it now too because like my chat takes up not that much. It's a relatively big screen. But I want my chat like over here or at least like somewhere above here so I can look at it. You know? I just don't have like the room. Like in the room I'm in right now. It's a, it's a retrofitted uh, walk-in closet or supply walk -in closet, supply closet that turned into like a streaming room slash like office for me too and like a bed as well so I could take naps in there too especially during the pandemic so I think it's there too just like small things too but I think like YouTube's probably getting there too with their live streaming platform also like um, YouTube has to fix like where you can search for like the live streams. I, I don't want to like scroll down. I want it to be up there like videos and like live streams are right there. And then like the live stream page is not as intuitive like as Twitch's. And Twitch's isn't that intuitive either. It's just, I don't know, maybe cause I'm like more used to it than it is like on like YouTube, but like we'll see what happens. One of these days I'm gonna do like a test stream on like uh, YouTube and see what happens. Oh, let me do it. I'll tap. One second. Okay, come on. They got to fix this thing on them. Um, they don't get to hear any sound because I alt tab so I can catch up to the chat here. Uh, 
Yeah, you've been around for a while too. Yeah, I have not been around for like that long too. I'm still getting my uh my feet wet, digital. Yeah. I mean, I had like a chatter come in like what was it, a week ago, week and a half ago. He was complaining about all the ads. And I told him like I can't control um the ads. Ads are always going to play no matter no matter what. I can like I can choose like I've disabled, I chose to disable pre-roll ads, but only if I play ads. That's the only thing. I don't like that. I just want to be able to disable like all pre-roll ads. So when people come in, they just see me. And then like when they watch like maybe an hour in, there's like one or two ads that plays. So they're really like shoving ads down people's throats. That's the thing too. I'm not like a, a big fan of that. That's the only thing. I want to be able to, I like the fact that you can control the spread of ads like in the stream. I just don't like pre-roll ads. Pre-roll ads are like killers for like small streamers, man. I just, I just absolutely hate that. Oh yeah, with the custom docs. Yeah, it's not clean though. So I did that for uh, Discord. So I wanted my Discord in OBS and it's not clean. That's the only thing. It's just literally like a copy and paste of what's on the, uh, of uh, what's on the, uh, on Discord or on the web page as like basically like in as a like a as a custom doc. I want like a specified plugin that shows me that I can select specific information in and put it in that doc in OBS. That's what I that's what I want. That's the only thing. Because I like being able to preview what's happening on stream right now on the screen that's in front of me. I like having my chat there. I like having my activity feed here, my Twitch stats, my sources. But sources, I have sources on my scenes on two different tabs in the same doc. I got my audio mixer. I got my stats, which tells me what's going on with like rendering, CPU usage, all that. And obviously my start and uh, stop stream button there too. So I like having like all that like information there too i'm probably gonna have to like eventually get like a third screen just for chat because it's just useful it's just that like i don't have room to put it like right here to my left that you're seeing like right here i just don't have the room there to do it i could put it there it's just gonna be uncomfortable to put it like over here i, I would prefer to keep it like above here but like it'll block like a light that i have here that i turned on that you can see off my shiny dome here but yeah it's just like, I just don't have like the space right now to do all that too. I got like, I could probably do it, but it's not going to be uh, that clean. It's a pain in the ass to like rewire everything too. Then get like a brand new mount to like fucking figure all this shit out. Set up the auto start when you started, you know, really? I have to look into that then if I can do that. Hmm. I'll look into that. Somebody probably definitely did it. I just didn't like see it. But um yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I do use stream elements. Stream all this stuff here you're seeing on this uh page is done through stream elements. I've gone through I can't tell you digital. I've gone through like so much, so much, um, so many changes in terms of like what you're seeing on stream. I just don't like a lot of clutter on, on stream. You should have seen all the shit that I've gone through, man. Like just getting like, just like the frame around my, um, uh, my webcam viewer here. You see me here, the rogue heel, you get in the audio visual. So much has changed since I started streaming. So I'm glad that um I'm where I'm at, I'm at right now. I'm like pretty happy too. Only thing is is just like uh I'm a big fan of mix it up. I am actually using mix it up right now like big fan of mix it up. I'm glad I found it too. I use it for um a couple of like custom things like right here. I usually mostly for like custom videos. Like right here I got I love this one. <laughs> That I have this. You watching this at home. Yes, this is from the me. same SNL clip. I command you, become my willing thralls and live eternally. That's all for this edition of the People's Court. Oh, 
the sweet sublime feeling of complete yeah I, i'm gonna have to like shell out for a uh a stream deck i gotta do i gotta do like a uh look at a dunno goal for that too game like stream i don't even need like the big stream deck i need like the the small like the either the medium sized one or the um the really small one too only need like a couple of those So I got like a bunch of like a bunch of stuff too. I got the channel points and everything too. Yeah, I do have like the, uh, the touch portal too. I just like I don't like the fact that it's so you know it's a the touch portal with the um like on my iPad here. But the only thing is I like having physical buttons. Yeah, the fifteen button one is like pretty like should be like perfectly fine. So what games did I uh? So what games? We got this. Unlock this shotgun. I unlock any other SMGs. Did I not even the bullpup? I need. I need to get COD. I need to. Don't take no wooden nickels now. Oh. Okay. Are we? Am I gonna do this? Let's see. Oh, uh, this is the VR thing. Okay, VR. Tutorial, first run. Not interested in that. Oh, do you really have to? Okay, I'll do this. I love COD, man. I love the gameplay. They actually made the game uh, much slower, but um, it's fun. I played Warzone like a, when uh, Warzone first dropped. Ooh, that was, that was interesting. Welcome to the Shinar Virtual Reality Training. That was interesting. The fucking Warzone 2.0 was fucking. The frame rates were dropping, man. It was super slow. It was fucking fun as shit. It was good stream material, too. Okay. I mean, I'm okay. Once charged, launches the flying fish. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, very interesting. Gather the same mod while upgrade your current one to level two. Go pick up another flying fist. It's been good and bad too. It's been good and bad. To crush her punch. Is it taking longer to recharge? No. Okay. Cool, cool, digital. We wish you many hours of enjoyment. Oh, okay, I was doing the run. I was do. I had to do the basic melee. Okay. Can I exit from the tutorial? Uh, shoot to select. How do you exit out of this? Back to Haven. There we go. It was literally behind me. This game looks fun. I'm gonna have to take like a quick break just to grab something to eat real quick. Oh my goodness. Shh. 
shoulder. All right, people. Let me go ahead, grab some to eat real quick, and we. Nice uh, work, runner. Well, you're welcome, Caraway. Thank you. All right, folks. I'll give you guys a shot. That was actually probably one of the one of the better betas I played. The game is actually fairly like uh, polished too. That's the thing. Uh, did I want to play uh, Warzone? No. All right, folks. When we come back, I will be playing some Warhammer Dark Tide. Got the game as a gift. Want to thank again. I want to thank that person one more time for uh donating that game i have to uh go grab something to eat because i am fucking hungry too uh it's four o'clock and the only thing i had was a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast and that's it so i'll leave you with some pretzel rocks some soothing sounds check me out on all my other socials the link's going to be in chat right now I'm on TikTok. I'm on ignore. I gotta get rid of that hover thing. I don't. I don't even post anything on hover anymore. But I'm on Instagram. I'm obviously on Twitch. You can check me out on uh, YouTube as well. I'm. I'm still working on like what content I want to uh, put on YouTube because right now I'm just like kind of dumping off like my live streams. I might go back to some classic like let's plays because I do play a lot of games in my downtime. And I think what I want to do is I want to play like a lot of these smaller games. Uh. That I have like I got Journey, I got Hotline Miami, I got Papers Please, I got Valheim. I think what I want to do is I want to play like Hotline Miami and like Papers Please, record it and do like the classic like I want to bring back like the classic Let's Plays and like uh bring that back up on YouTube. I still think there's like a I think people still enjoy that that type of simple content. So I want to bring that back there and then on the stream they'll do like the sweaty gamer shit on Twitch. Yeah, I actually have. I've been posting a ton of shorts. I've been doing like a short a day on like YouTube and not just like a shout out saying that I'm like on uh, like I do on like on Instagram on uh, as an Instagram story. I've been actually I've seen like a ton of growth on uh, on YouTube shorts. But the only thing is I have to um, digital. I have to we're, we're talking like so much shop right now, but it is what it is. I just have to like find out like sir go through my stream and find out moments in the stream especially like in my uh, Call of Duty stream there's a ton of moments like that cuz I fucking rage the fuck out during that Call of Duty going back to mid 2000s gamer bro mode and like just clip out like that's was I think it's like 60 seconds maybe I think a minute 30 I forget on like a uh, no no it's even shorter than that I think it's like 15 20 seconds on um YouTube shorts, but I haven't been posting on YouTube shorts. I've been doing mostly a lot of political and sports talk on YouTube shorts because that's been like my most uh, viewed content on, uh, unironically, on like my YouTube channel. It's always been my Jets content, uh, my generally my Jets content, and like any political takes I have too. Too. I'm also on TikTok as well. You can check me out on TikTok. It's just TikTok is mostly just like whatever the fuck I want to put up on TikTok. It's just like just like free thought shit. Like I'm bored. Oh, I got like this crazy thought. Let me just like put up post it up on TikTok as a three minute like TikTok story or whatever they call it on TikTok. Yeah, sixty seconds. There you go. Yeah, if I have mixed it up, post set up a command that clips it for you. Uh, post it to post it to Discord if you have one. Oh, okay. I gotta look into that. How to do that on? Uh, I know there's like a whole bunch of tutorial videos to like set that up. Yeah, because I use um when I want to. I mostly use sh I have Shotcut, that free uh, editing uh, program. For like uh, when I post something on like a uh, YouTube and there's a copyright claim I, I just upload it to shotcut then like take out that part So I might just I usually use that and I kind of just like I like going through like the video Through shotcut and like clipping stuff like what I think is like good enough and I can edit stuff in and I can post it up on TikTok and on uh, Whatchamacallit and on um TikTok, Instagram, and as like a YouTube short. And I try to keep it within like 60 seconds so it's like the same clip on all those platforms. Too, so I can get a wider reach too. Only problem is it's like time. Time's the only time's the only issue. That's that's the only thing too. But I 
I've dedicated like every Saturday and Sunday, like in the morning, I'll go through because I download all the videos anyway to upload it onto uh, YouTube. So every Saturday, I'm going to go through like my clips and then progressively like I really need to do it like right afterwards, too. But I'm like exhausted. Like this is like the best time for me to stream because I still work like a regular job. So I just have to uh, do it on the Saturdays and Sundays and then I can clip it out for uh tiktok instagram and for uh youtube shorts okay enough uh, enough shop talk all right folks let me play some music for y'all let me take a quick uh let me take a quick break get some food in me i'm gonna make some more coffee and then we'll see i'll see you soon and we will be playing some warhammer dark tide i have not touched that game i downloaded that game like two weeks ago i feel sorry for the guy who gave who gifted me the game if you're watching this or if this gets clipped out to you I appreciate it again. I am going to literally play that right now. I'm going to play the fuck out of that game because that game looks fun as shit. Okay? So, we'll be back. See you guys soon. And look at that. Actual music is actually playing because I can... I actually, like, uh, change, like, the audio uh, to correctly uh, pump out the music so you guys can hear it. All right, what's my... Be right back. There you go. All right, be right back. Enjoy Sonic.
All right, people, I know you missed me. What the hell? Fate by Xander. Digital Frost, I appreciate the offer for help, man, before I uh, went on break. Thank you. I'll go ahead and just, like, give you a follow right now. Okay. Ooh, I got fed. I got coffee. Let's hit this up. Let's hit this up, baby. Okay, start it up. Warhammer. Well, this is good to know that uh, my PC meets the minimum requirements. Okay, let's go medium. Uh, uh, vertical sync. Dark Tides guns. It's that guy that I think GameSpot uses for the guns too. Building shader cache. Okay. Oh. Fell asleep wrong on this shoulder right here. It's kidding me. It's just building. Oops, Domino. Like my latest TikTok. We're growing, folks. We're growing. Oh, the comments. Hey, what video was this again? Okay. Dude, drop is going nuts, man. We're still building shader cache, by the way. Oh, that guy, literally just my uh, uh, going on stream videos fucking going nuts. What's this? Bills Jets. I gotta make sure I keep growing. I'm growing. Eventually, I'm gonna be streaming on TikTok. The only thing, here's the thing they don't tell you. You need to have X number of followers to get that live button. That's the only thing. They don't tell you that initially on all these YouTube videos. But yeah, you do. So, just pump out some content. Okay, here we go. Yep, there we go. You guys see it. Warhammer. Uh-oh. For all you foes sensitive people, be careful. I know there's like a little tutorial uh It is the forty first oh. millennium. Yes. For 10,000 years, the Imperium has dominated the galaxy. Yes. There is only war. Yes. Oh, let me turn this overhead light off. Soul, from the most highborn lord to the most basic servitor is dedicated to the service of the God Emperor of Mankind. The God Emperor! The Imperium's battle fleets and armies, from the conscripted soldiers of the Astra Militarum, yes. to the elite space marines of the Adeptus Astartes. Yes! Keep humanity safe from alien threats. Yes! horrors beyond imagining. Yes! Yes, build the tension. Let's go. But there is another war. 
It is the one in which I serve. Yes. The void cometh, and the void taketh away. Our war is not one of battlefields and fleet engagements. It is waged by the dedicated agents of the Imperial Inquisition. It is fought in the cities and hives of the Imperium. In the back streets, and the forgotten sublevels. In hive cities yes. like Tertian. Yes. For oh, the God Emperor. Oh. Processing inquisitorial clearance. Let's go. Decline. Quit the game, you pussy. No. I will accept your privacy. Okay, so we got classes now. Let's see. Let's go in order. The sharpshooter. Veteran. Troopers of the Astra Militarum. Veterans are valued as skilled and seasoned warriors for the imper for the Emperor of Mankind. Oh, there's more details. Long range. Precise. As a sharpshooter, you specialize in ranged combat drills. Whether making every shot count or opting to spray and pray your way through the mission, you can outshoot any heretic. Okay, these are the abilities volley fire. Oh. Every iconic blitz. You got frag grenade, you got an aura. And these are your unique weapons. Plasma guns. The Zealot Preacher. Yes. Zealots are fanatical, pious warriors whose rage and fervor in the Emperor's name leads them to places those of lesser faith would fear to tread. Details. Close range, high damage, charge. You care not if you live or die, so long as the foe is vanquished in the God Emperor's name. As a preacher, your faith grows stronger as your body tires. Oh, a little, little slow down there. Empowering your attacks with holy wrath. Your strength comes not from your fall, fallible flesh, but from the rapture of righteous, violent triumph. Ability, chastise the wicked. The preacher dashes, dashes forward or toward the targeted enemy, replenishing 50% toughness, increasing the damage of the next melee hit by 25%, making it a guaranteed critical, critical hit. Iconic, martyrdom plus five damage for each 15 missing health. Max stacks three until death. Okay, swift exorcism. Oh, wow. Throw a Two-handed chain swords and flamer. Okay, psyker, psychokinetic. Psychic mutants or psychers draw power from the immaterium to fuel their formidable mental abilities. 
They are viewed with suspicion as witches throughout the Imperium. Long range, fragile, powered by peril. Your psychic master allows you to manipulate the fundamental forces of motion with the power of your mind, empowering your allies even as you weaken your foes, and exploring the odd head or two into the bargain. Psych connects wrath. Four warp charges. Four swords and four staves. Okay. And of course, the Ogryn Scalabrega. Ogryns are massive, powerful abhumans, often used as shock troops for the Astra Militarum. They are strong and loyal, but have limited intelligence. Close range, tough charge. Subtlety isn't in a Skullbreaker's limited vocabulary. You prefer to rush headlong into the fray, pounding your chosen target into the ground while relying on your innate physical toughness to brush aside the inevitable counterattack. Bull Rush. A little protective thick skin. Box of Hurt. Slab Shields. Grenade Gauntlets. Ladies and gentlemen, today, the most roguish of heels live here on twitch.tv forward slash rogue underscore heel is feeling a bit fanatical for the Emperor of Man. Yes, your homeworld, Cruxus. Okay, Let's see. The Mobian Domain is full of established worlds, burgeoning settlements, and far-flung colonies. Even though you've been on the move for a long time, there's still one place that you can call home. Cruxus, Considered the second world of the Mobian Domain, Cruxus is a large shrine world and a popular destination for pilgrimages. Messalina Gloriana, a heavily forested moon that serves as a minor shrine world. Messalina Gloriana has few resources and a low population, but is strategically important since the fall of nearby Comaris. Rockria, a small agro world that produces intensively farmed and mass harvested grain crops. Rockrians are the butt of many jokes. Considered backworlds by other Mobians, yet they are hardworking and honest to a fault. Branx Magna, a thriving industrial world. Branx Magna is the most densely populated, populated in the Mobian domain. It's teeming billions, manning its continent spanning manufacturums night and day. Inkaron. An oceanic world, the population of Inkron inhabited vast hive islands. Inkron. Inkron is the Mobian Domain's main naval depot. Cadia. Formerly the Imperium's most famous fortress world, its fall marked the beginning of the era in Dominus. The Dark Imperium. Mornax. A small, grim mining world known for its headless conditions, which produce a famously hardy and dour populace. And Pavain, a relatively newly colonized. Pavain is already a self sustaining world rich in natural resources whose population is expanding quickly. Cadia. Childhood. One's character is defined by childhood experience, or so they say. Like so many others in the grim darkness of the 41st millennium, you had a tough upbringing, and like many, you got through it. With the scars to prove it. 
Progena. Orphans of the Imperium. Progena, given an upbringing like no other within the Scala Progenium. There they learn much of discipline, willpower, and hatred of the traitor. Preparing them for life in service to the God Emperor. Militia Lackey. The press youth of a planetary militia rarely achieve any rank, nor garner any glory. If they're lucky, they might learn some survival skills while serving as trench runners or ammo monkeys. Defender. To be born on a fortress world is to be doctrinated into a militarized life at the earliest stage. Upon such planets, the training and equipping of soldiers is paramount. We are an orphan of the Imperium. There aren't a lot of options for folk like you growing up, but you had to find a way to overcome the trials of youth by fair means or foul. A lowly scribe. The endless chain of bureaucratic work of the Adeptus Administratum is full of tedium, but also danger. For ambitious individuals will stop at nothing in their struggle for advancement. Many a scribe has lost their life in squabbles over a better grav lantern or a desk near a cooling unit. Isolated. The arbitrary bureaucratic decrees of the Adeptus Administratum can draft or displace the pipelines of an entire hab block, often for no discernible reason. Self-reliance. Even the most civilized sectors of the Mobian domain are subject to all manners of threats from mutants, rogue psychers, cultists, and more. In the dog-eat-dog -dog world of the lower hives, everyone must find a way to navigate these myriad perils. Saw the light. The most zealous followers of the Imperium cult hold the deep sea belief that heretics and traitors are infiltrating all levels of Imperial society. Sometimes it's even true. True calling. The cult Imperialis takes many forms, but all revolve around worship of the Emperor. It is the only sanctioned religion in the Imperium. Pilgrimage. A pilgrimage is both a physical and spiritual journey that brings the Arden Fowler closer in faith to the Holy Emperor of Mankind. A pilgrimage to a sacred site can take years to complete, taking the devout traveler far from their home world. Injured. Since the age of strife, technology is neither trusted nor understood by most of the population. Most machinery is old and prone to often dangerous mishaps. We went on a pilgrimage. Defining moment. You have been through a lot. This struggle you call life demanded it. But through all the hardships and all the triumphs, one incident stands out in your memory, which has shaped you more than anything. Encounter with heretics. Since the Horus Heresy, the enemy within, traitors, heretics, turncoats, hold a special place of hatred in the hearts of loyal Imperial citizens. No mercy can ever be shown to those who turn from the Emperor's light. A strange artifact. The Adeptus Ministorum, often known as Ecclesiarchy, is obsessed with tracking down holy relics of saints and martyrs. Most turn out to be fakes with no value, but that doesn't stop a brisk trade in holy knuckle bones, mummified toes, sainted tonsures, and the like. Cult Contact When heresy is uncovered amongst the civilian population, it is not unusual for a suspicion of complicity to turn on the rest of the populace. The taint of chaos can never be under underestimated, and before the unwavering gaze of the Inquisition, innocence is not enough. Mutant Incident Whether warped by genetic defect or chaos taint, 
Mutants are reviled by the Imperium. Most Imperial agencies teach intolerance of the mutant as a key tenant, and see mutation as a curse that leads only to corruption. The sickness. In the overcrowded habs and manufacturums of a typical hive, disease can often run rampant. The uncaring nobles often see such outbreaks as a call of the weak, knowing that there are always teeming masses of workers ready to replace the fallen. The Hunted Amongst the gangs and guilds that dominate the hive, transgressions are often punished by blood deaths, which must be fulfilled on pain of death. Those who attempt to flee their blood debt are pursued without mercy by gang enforcers or contract killers. The Voices In most occupations, hearing voices will be considered a sign of, magna, a sign of madness. However, to some members of the Ecclesiarchy and the Scholastia, Saikana, such messages are a source of inspiration, for they are perhaps a sign of blessed communion with the God Emperor. We hear voices. Now... We make our outcast. I don't know why I put such a pause. Okay. I like that one. Ooh, I like that one. Grizzled. Kratos, essentially. Available from the world. Got quite a few. Yeah, we'll do something like that. <laughs> nice, dark, and black. Go back to eye color. We'll do that. Facial hair, we'll do that. Let's see face. No. I actually really like this face. I don't know why. Doesn't like anything like me. Just grizzled.
Okay, maybe we know face tattoos. There we go, we got body tattoos. Ooh, I like that. Let's see if we got any sleeves. Uh, well, we're getting there. And like two guys, I want like some sleeves or something like that. It's a little bit more customization. Okay. So these are like burn marks. usually has something like this yeah we'll go with this we're not gonna make my guy like super tall we'll put him like right there Okay. Your life choices have molded you to the person you are today. There's been happiness in your life, sure, but you're left with plenty of scars, and not just the physical kind. Kind. This is what you have become. The judge. Without hope, there is no purpose. Oh, does this actually do the whole voice? Without hope, there is no purpose to revenge. Without justice, the wounded perish and wicked prosper. For what is there to prevent these things? Justice, more than anything, was the gift bequeathed by the Emperor of Mankind. And I shall see it carried to all corners of his Imperium. But make no mistake, justice plays no favorites. And nor do I. The corrupt should fear me as readily as the heretic or the traitor. Okay. Life without faith is mere existence beneath the all-consuming shadow of heresy. Without so much as a candle to hold that darkness at bay. It is the fate of some to pass from this life as mere kindling. Whereas mine is to light the flame. And I see that I am needed in this place, at this hour. For is it not said that if 10,000 feckless souls burn in the flames of perdition to awaken the fervor of one righteous man, then the Emperor rejoices. Aye, it is. Okay. This is simply 
Unacceptable! I am a chosen emissary of the master of mankind! I am not some common criminal to be shackled and tormented by jailers who, if I am to be kind, hail from amongst the basest and most inadequate simpletons who clingeth like limpets to humanity's lowest rung! And as for my crimes... That hablock was steeped in heresy. Its denizens a wicked brand of apostates and ne'er-do-wells. When the enforcers refused to take action, what else was I to do? <laughs> Without hope, there is no peace. I'm sorry. Is sim I love that voice. That reminds me of Starscream. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Dereliction of duty. Punch or worse, okay. Insubordination. Let's do green. Let's go misplaced faith. I question. They. They. Would deny the fake. They had no faith in the God Emperor. Take it. Oh, perfect. All right. Okay, and hyphens. Okay. about this let's play this prologue let's go gameplay sharpen your mind to hate the man who has nothing can still have faith hunt the mute kill the mute take no comfort there is none the industrious may escape death when all is dark remember the emperor his is the light that fadeth not. Even the greatest hero is but a ripple on the surface of space. The mutant is guileful, trust it not. Faith leaves no room for doubt. The Emperor knows, the Emperor is watching. Sedition begins with a lack of faith. Yeah. And the dark tide cometh. Prisoners all secure, ma'am. I'll check for myself if you don't mind. Of course, ma'am. But do be wary. Every one of them's a filthy heretic. That one certainly is. Keep him intact. No accidents. My master wants to interrogate him as soon as we reach the hive. Of course, ma'am. Upon my life. This one, however. Makes you wonder why we even bother shipping trash like that. Hmm. Save a lot of data slate work just to process the execution notice now. What do you say, criminal? Shall I put you out of your misery? And ours, you would. Be quiet. Well? Nothing to say? 
This is a mistake. I am a loyal servant of the throne. <laughs> but of course, I'll just let you out now then. Shame you'll never get to prove that. Oh! The heretics. Oh, shit. Bombs away, bitches. Bro, get behind your bed, man. We have a way out. What do we do about that one? Nothing. The boxes will be here to feed soon enough. Get the fuck out, people. Let's run. Run away. There's the shuffle. I shall not perish here. Not whilst there are heretics to yet chastise. Okay, there's the stamina. So you got side steps, dodges. Laxness and indolence on every hand. Fuck out of here. We can pick that up. That would be nice. That was my usage. CPU use.
trained for such labor. I must reach sanctuary. Perhaps that elevator. I'm already liking it. Yes. Yes. I feel it. I heal you, my emperor. I hear you. this make fun of me will you Wait. you come for blood too criminal Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Hey, these guns feel good, man. All right, I might have to change some settings. That's it, huh? Okay. Oh, I want that hammer.
Yes! Die! You bastards! For the God Emperor! Ah! Eat my fucking shovel! This is a holy shovel! It was blessed by the Emperor of Man! Ah! Anybody else? Have we purged the heretics, my brothers and my sisters? Be a bulwark for humanity. Yeah, this is like, this can't be right. Like, it's not, it's barely even using like 1% CPU usage. That cannot be right. Okay. Let's go to Where's V say? Okay. Okay. Anti aliasing. Okay, that's full. well, we'll we'll cap the frame rate at sixty. Should be fine. Now motion blur. We're gonna turn that off. Lens. can turn lens flare off okay good that these okay audio mix voice chat let's see key bindings wheel primary wheel auspice quick wield Single weapon blitz action G reload G F G and F okay tactical overlay push to talk is T anything Hmm. 
Nah, we'll keep it, because I can hit it on my thumb. Oh, it's social. Okay. to GM. I'm here. Ah, so the next step before we... Is this kind of no opa? The best we can recruit these days. This one could be useful. Claims to be a loyal servant of the throne. Sounds great. This... I'm Sergeant Major Morrow. Your fresh meat. Mission briefings come through me. Let's see what you can do. All right. Get to the Sycanian. She recommended you for further training. Once you are shackled to my glorious Sycanium, I will mentor you in the skills and operative needs to survive. One assumes you do want to survive. Have yes. No fear. My psychic conjurations cannot kill you, though they may leave persistent feelings of inadequacy. <laughs> All right, mistress, let's see what you got. Okay, let's go through each one. Shredder pistol. Properties. Okay. okay, you have to hold. Okay. What is what is that? Five? Okay. Uh options. Four wheel previous weapon up down. Base jump. I bless you. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's. It's crawling in my thoughts. Something's crawling in my thoughts. Something's crawling in my thoughts. Okay. Okay, it's saying like mouse button five. Mouse button five. What is Okay, that's not it. It's Rev, but I don't know. bindings primary actions special weapon actions okay options key bindings Nice. Okay. Dodging allows you to evade range fire and melee attacks. Melee attacks cannot be dodged if you have a ranged weapon active. your toughness. Once your toughness is broken, they damage your health. Additionally, enemy attacks will stagger and stun you. Killing enemies in melee replenishes toughness. Each nearby teammate also grants toughness regeneration. Oh, nice. Perform a 
unique follow-up attack after a push. <laughs> Medipacks and ammo crates can be picked up and deployed to aid your team. is caused by certain attacks, items, or being down. Corruption reduces maximum health. If you are down when the last segment of your health bar is corrupted, you are incapacitated and captured. Corruption cleanse at Medicaid stations. Medicaid stations have limited uses, indicated by the glowing lights. to alert your team. World markers can be placed to help coordinate your team's tactics. Sprinting helps avoid range fire. Crouching while sprinting performs a slide. Sliding helps evade attacks similar to dodging. enemies forces them to stop shooting and engage in melee combat. When ranged enemies are shot at, they flinch, becoming suppressed. Suppressed enemies try to take cover and will not fire back. Suppression, making it harder to land accurate shots. Get out of the line of fire to restore accuracy. Let's go, baby. Fateless are those who abandon their tasks. Draw strength from the Emperor's will. When the shadows threaten, the Emperor is with us. Complaining of thy lot is the first step on the... Badass. You won't get in the sanctum dictatus. Seems the Inquisitor wants to take a look at you. Let's hope you don't disappoint. Yes. <sighs> Time to meet this Inquisitor. Heed. 
the word of the Emperor. That's it. That's all you need to know. What happened? What happened? Did the game crash? Oh my god. Okay. Hold on, let's uh. All right, let me go ahead. Transition into a cutscene. Crashed. And then the game crashed. Uh, just skip frames of encoding lag. Holy shit, dude. Like, everything just bugged out. And then the game crashed. Uh, then the game crashed. Let's see, the cutscene was when... Was when Chris Bassett just signed a three-year deal with the Blue Jays. Oh, fuck that guy. Cutscene was when... You meet the... In... Inquisitor, Inquisitor, for the first time. Okay. Yeah, I got like a uh, refresh. Yeah, I got like this big like fucking bug here. Hold on. We turn this off. Everything just went like fucking nutso. Let me end the stream and then let me restart my computer and then we'll be right back, okay? So hold on. I'll be right back, folks. <laughs> 